Okay, we will uh, have Casey Rogers here for about five minutes before Coach gets here. So um, let's go to questions for Casey. Um, uh, sorry, Sam McEwen, World Herald. Hey, Casey. Um, from from I guess my amateur eye, you're having a pretty good season. What what feedback have your coaches given you about how how you played this year, and how do you feel like you played? Yeah, uh, coaches have been uh, have told me that I've I've been playing pretty good. Um, you know, I think every game I strive to try to get better and better. Um, you know, uh, one one game at a time. Um, you know, uh, if it's if it, if I think I've done pretty good on one thing, then I'll I'll, I'll try to master it the next week. Um, and then if I think I need I'm struggling at something, the, obviously I'll, I'll uh, work on that the week after that. But, uh, but yeah, no, so far this year it's been great, and uh, we're looking forward to finishing off strong uh, in the next two weeks. If I told you a year ago now, a year ago, that you'd be playing, you'd be playing at Rutgers at night, one week before Christmas, what would you have thought of, of that possibility? Uh, I would have, I mean, I'm just as excited now. Actually, we're playing on my, uh, my dad and I's birthday this Friday, so it would be pretty cool. Unfortunately, uh, with the fans not being able to be there, he won't be able to attend. But uh, but you know, going back uh, going back east is always fun, um, especially up up north. And uh, you know, I'm looking forward to being in that region and, and playing uh, some of those guys. Uh, a lot of those guys, the Rutgers, are, are from the area and are, are from the Northeast. So it'll be cool to um, you know go up against them, and uh, you know, it'll be it'll be neat. It'll be a cool experience. Thank you. Thank you. Parker Gabriel, Journal Star. Casey, I know you've, you've got your nose down and you're trying to get ready for Rutgers and all that, but we hear Scott talk a lot about how he sees, you know, progress in the program, even though your win-loss record isn't where you want it to be. Uh, do, you know, do you see the same? And I guess, how would you describe it to someone who's not, you know, inside your building every day? Yeah, I 100% see the same thing, uh, you know, and it's tough to uh, – to really show that when obviously the record is the way it is, but uh, you know even in, even uh, from the littlest things to you know uh, having our freshmen, I, I know uh, Nash Hutchmaker from from the day he got here to to now it, it's night and day, um, and then you know the D line from where uh, from where we started to where we're at now, um, and then even at all the other positions too with all the young guys and, and the guys who are here, um, we're night and day from where we were at the beginning of the year. And I, obviously, it's it's hard to show that with uh, the way the outside world looks at it. But from an inside perspective, it's you know we're we're more together as a team. Uh, practice now it, compared to last year is night and day as well. It's a lot a lot of guys working um, harder than they've ever worked before, and uh, some it's, it's going to flip. And, and when that happens, you know everything that coaches said and everything that that we see on the inside when that's exposed to the outside world, it's it's going to be it's going to be a pretty exciting day in Nebraska. Take two more quick ones for uh, Casey. Coaches here, so um, Andy Kendi. Casey, uh, how have you uh, have you always been a guy that was able to bat down passes, and how important is it? It's not just you, but some of your teammates were doing it as well. And how how, how much of a lift can that give a defense? Yeah, no. Uh, uh, putting your hands up is something that Coach T, express, Coach T O D expresses all the time. You know, if if you're getting a pass rush and you might not be able to get to him if it's a if the quarterback's gonna throw the ball quick, in which we saw um, on on Saturday with with the RPOs, uh, the next best thing is to try to get your hands up in the passing lanes. Um, you know, I, as a young kid uh, in football, I was taught that, so that's something I've kind of carried with me all throughout the years. Um, but it's also something that they coach here too. So. Um, but yeah, we noticed right away that they were throwing the ball pretty quick, and uh, even if we weren't able to get to the quarterback, you know, the next, like I said, the next best thing is at least getting in his eye, getting in his vision, and uh, trying to get in your hands in the passing lane. But it could be a huge thing. I think we saw that uh, we saw that on Saturday. You know, we got a turnover on downs off of one. So and then uh, Phil Darius got one that was big, and, and I think I got another one too. So uh, you know, it could be a game changer, really. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you can't get to the quarterback, try to get one down. Okay, we'll uh, we'll let that finish up with Casey, and we'll uh, move on to Coach here. And uh, in just a second, we will have one additional player after Coach Frost um, here in a few minutes. Thanks.